I'm going to show you how to create a piecewise function in Geometry Expressions 3. I'll first of all create a function. Um, it's easier to edit piecewise function when we're um, editing on the screen rather than in the dialog, so I'll just create the default function and now I'm going to edit the definition here and make it a piecewise function. If I look down on the symbols section, my symbols palette, I have piecewise function um, button. If I press that once, I get um, the ability to do a piecewise function with two pieces. Press it again, I can have three pieces. Press it again, I can have four pieces. So I'm going to have a function that is zero when um, x is less than zero. It's going to be x when 0 is less than or equal to x is less than 3. <coughs> it's going to be 3 when 3 less than or equal to x is less than 6. And it's going to be 9 minus x when <coughs> 6 less than or equal to x is less than 9. Notice I'm using, I have some um, lowercase x, is it? Um, it's actually not going to worry about that. Uh, um, x is special. Uh, uh, Geometry expression is going to allow you to use upper or lowercase in this situation. Um, however, I do want another slot here so I can just go down to my piecewise function symbol and create another slot because I want it to be zero otherwise. And I can just use the word otherwise. And so there is my piecewise function. It's zero when x is less than zero. It's x between zero and three. Uh, it's three between three and six. Um, and it comes down between six and nine and then zero otherwise there's my um, axes.